In other news, China, Russia, and Iran are set to hold joint naval drills in the Gulf of Oman. Beijing says the drills will begin tomorrow and last till Monday. It says they are aimed at deepening exchange and cooperation between their navies. This comes amid heightened tensions between the U.S. and Iran. Both sides have been at loggerheads since Washington reimposed sanctions on Tehran last year after withdrawing from a landmark nuclear deal. The Western mainstream media is fear-mongering about the upcoming joint Chinese-Iranian-Russian naval drills in the northern Indian Ocean later this week, but their alarmist reaction to these multilateral exercises is mistaken. Some forces have a vested interest in portraying these countries' entirely normal military cooperation as a threat to the regional peace even though the whole point of the drill is to support the regional balance of power in order to facilitate a political resolution to the pertinent country's dispute. We understand it's the first such trilateral exercise. And while, you know, Iran would be keen to position the drills as a message to the, to the world, you know, that they have friends, they have allies, China is a bit more cautious about doing that. And in fact, uh, they're, not, they're likely to limit their involvement um, to their non-combat, anti-piracy, anti-terrorism um, naval, naval forces. That's because China is unwilling to be drawn into the Iran-U.S. conflict. And what essentially China wants is to be able to showcase uh, their destroyer, the scening in this uh, naval drills and to also potentially sell weapons to Iran. So there's an economic aspect, there's a geopolitical power rebalancing aspect and obviously China is the world's largest importer of crude oil. Um, it wants to diversify um, this crude oil sources from Russia and Saudi Arabia to also Iran and in participating in these drills it's also signaling to the world that it wants to protect these waterways, which is essentially China's lifeline to the Middle East Eastern oil.